Welcome back to Taught Family's Kitchen, a place where you can get cooking inspirations with easy to make recipes. Simply follow the step-by-step -step videos to achieve a great cooking experience and a guaranteed amazing taste. Happy Easter everybody! So, today you're going to be watching a video on how to make three different designs, all using eggs for your Easter breakfast. These are super easy. So let's get going. These are the ingredients you will need for the designs. Two boiled eggs, carrot slices, one egg, rosemary leaves which are optional, butter, half a teaspoon of mayonnaise and seaweed or pepper balls. So for the first design you'll need one boiled egg, slice of carrot, seaweed or pepper balls and rosemary leaves which are optional. So the first step is to cut the egg in half. Then you'll want to take the carrot slices and cut small triangles out of it. These carrot slices should be thin. So for our first egg, which we're doing now, we're doing two carrot slices in the shape of a triangle and then putting them together to create an open beak. Then you want to use scissors or a knife to cut seaweed and place them as your eyes. You want to cut them into small circles. Either you can use seaweed or pepper balls. Once you've completed this process for both of the eggs, you can move on to the optional step. Here, we'll just be taking the rosemary leaves and placing it on top of the one egg. On the other egg, you will be taking a piece of carrot, which we cut into a clover-like leaf shape, and then place it onto the egg. For the second design, you'll need one boiled egg, half a teaspoon of mayonnaise, seaweed or pepper balls, a thin slice of carrot and rosemary leaves. So the first step is to cut the egg as shown. You want to be quite gentle because you want the line to be precise. Then you want to use a spoon or a knife to scoop out the yolk of the egg and put it into a separate bowl. For the next step of the design, we just added half a teaspoon of mayonnaise into the yolk and we used the fork to mix them together. Then this next step can get quite messy, but you'll need to transfer this mixture back into the egg and you can use your fingers to mold it into a sphere-like shape. Once you've completed the previous step, you can take the other half of the egg whites and place it on top of the egg yolks. Now, you can create the eyes using seaweed circle shapes or pepper balls. Here, we just decided to use some pepper balls. Then what you want to do is you want to take a thin slice of carrot, cut it into a triangle and place it as a beak.
For this last design, you'll need one egg, a slice of carrot, a slice of butter, seaweed or pepper balls, and rosemary leaves, which are optional. You want to use the slice of butter to put it onto the frying pan and then fry your egg. Then you want to take the thin slice of carrot, cut it into a triangle and place it onto the fried egg as your beak. You can use pepper balls or seaweed circles for the eyes. To finish off the design, we decided to cut out a character-like shape from a carrot and then place it onto the plate along with some rosemary leaves for the top of the egg and for the top of the carrot. 